Welcome to part 10 of the live steam Charles Loco build, and welcome to my workshop and garden railway. Pushing on with a steam chest, 3 16 inch holes were drilled and reamed through the front and back for valve spindle bushes. Here are the bushes loctited in with Loctite 609 retainer. The front bush is drilled 3 30 seconds and is blind. The rear is drilled and reamed 1 8 inch through. Here's the rear bush with a BS006 silicone o-ring in place. This is to seal the spindle from steam leakage. 8 BA holes tapped for the oval cover plate. The first cover plate screwed in place. It took filing and fettling to get the look right. The first cover plate marked out on a scrap of 1.2mm thick brass sheet. The holes are marked out and centre punched for drilling. The profile has been marked out with dividers and scriber for filing to shape. The holes have been drilled 2.2mm for 8BA clearance and 1 8 inch for the valve spindle. After being happy with the shape of the first valve spindle gland cover, I use it as a template for making the second. It was solder sweated onto another brass offcut. The first thing was to drill through. Luckily the material was just thick enough to properly guide the 1 8 drill. Sawn and filed to shape, whilst taking care not to disturb the original cover. The covers were heated with the butane torch to melt the solder. Then they were slid apart, and later the solder was wiped off. Then they were polished with wet and dry abrasive paper. Spot drilling through the cover into the second steam chest for the 8BA threads. The cover is held in the correct position by a 3 16th steel pin with a 1 8 diameter step on its end. The holes were spotted with a 2.2mm drill and then drilled to depth with a 1.8mm 8BA tapping drill. Here's the cosmetic steam chest end plate. It's 0.1 inch thick like the cylinder covers. I'm testing out the hole positions using 8BA nuts. This piece took a lot of time getting the look to my liking. The second piece was a lot easier drilling through and copying the profile by clamping the plates together. My order arrived. 8BA, nuts one size smaller, washers, hex head screws one size smaller, and cheese head screws. The hex heads were too small so I had to make a box banner. Making a decorative stud washer nut assembly, using a piece of 0.1 thick brass. First part, Cut off the excess from the cheese head screw. After cutting the excess off, the thread is filed down flush. Ready for unscrewing and fitting to the cylinder cover. The decorative aluminium cover for the front cylinder covers. Halfway through sawing it off. Afterwards it was super glued to a faceplate and skimmed to thickness. 20 thou. Here are the cylinders with all the decorative studs. Only six do any securing. Next job, the distinctive cock on the front cylinder cover. Six BA threaded on the end first, cut with a die. Then the job was extended from the chuck for the undercutting. It's 1 8 inch KNS brass rod. The end was bent at red heat when still attached to the rod and then cut off. The second generation tap body. I've just drilled through for the handle. It's all dummy, another cosmetic part. KNS 1 16th diameter brass rod handles fitted. Progress so far. Thanks for watching.